Yeah, I'll somewhat agree with you, potentially. But the problem is there could be biases in just your initial thought. So that so if well, I want to well, get certainty, I need multiple biases. people. There's always yeah, cognitive right. biases in, in it, but, but but what I'm saying is the the scientific method, when followed correctly, is extremely self-aware, exceedingly self-aware. I would think, self -aware, I right? would think so. The problem so. is yeah. in implementation when you start hiring people that have a, a desired outcome in mind. Yeah, right. they're they could they could be as pure as you want in in in, in altru altruistic as you want, but yeah. the bias in what they want to see can influence the way they act. And yes, so what and, you're saying, yes. and what you're saying is, so let's get one one going one direction and one going the opposite direction. Yeah, and and they might not even they might not even see that bias. They they would argue yes. to end that I don't have any bias, right? And then I would argue back saying that they're not pure scientists. Then, well, but they're humans, Chris. This is just the nature of a human. The pure being. scientist. This is this is this is where I get into what is pure science. The pure scientist is able to look at it from both angles and is able to, in essence, articulate the argument from both sides and then say, here is the theory I want to see if it's true or not. And it doesn't matter if it's true or not. I just have this idea that it could be true. And they go and they develop the experiment such to prove or disprove that that's the, the case. 